give you a little bit of a setup for your spiral. Um, I'm using a composition notebook, but you can use a spiral on there. So the first three pages, front and back, are going to be table of contents pages. So at the top of the first three pages, I'm going to put table of contents. And so for each time we have a table of contents entry, we are going to have a date. A topic. And then over here, page number. So again, all the whole first three pages table of contents table of contents <clears throat> again this is the back of the second page and I want to do three pages Doing the third page here now, back of the third page. So we have three whole pages, front and back, that are for table of contents. That way we'll make sure we have plenty of room for everything that we need. I did put how we're going to lay that out, but I didn't put it on every single page. You're welcome to do that if you would like. But after you have those first three pages labeled as your table of contents, then you're going to go ahead and start numbering all the pages, front and back. So I'm not going to have you watch me do all this, but it's important that we are numbering front and back. So this is your assignment is just to finish numbering. It's going to make your life a lot easier if you just have your whole journal numbered, ready to go, instead of every time we open it up, we have to look and see if it, and renumber it and try to figure out what page we're on. This is an assignment. This will be a grade when you come in um, on Wednesday. I'm going to have you get this out, and I'm going to want to see these numbered pages, and you will get credit for having your spiral numbered. So that's your assignment. Go ahead and finish numbering. If you have a spiral or a journal that has like multiple sections in it, like some of them are like 300 pages, but they're sectioned off in 100, you only need to number to the end of the first section. You don't need to number all 300 pages just to the end of the first section. But if you don't have those dividers in it, go ahead and number all the pages in your spirals.